In the world of sales and business, we often hear the word trust being thrown around in conversations. Now, we all know that trust is the foundation of relationships and relationships build business and sales. However, I think we need to apply the EQ skill of reality testing and ask ourselves, are we really demonstrating the behaviors on a daily basis that build trust? So let's kind of unpack this word. For example, T and trust stands for time. And what I have noticed in this busy, harried world that we live in is people are pressed for time and we're scheduling back-to-back -back meetings. Now we're having conversations. However, when you've got a back-to-back -back meeting, often you're worried about the next meeting. So you keep the conversation at a superficial level, not allowing time to go to a deeper level, deeper conversation, one that builds trust. Now let's take a look at reliable. Now it's pretty simple. Do what you say you're going to do. Because here's an interesting note. People will like you, but they may not trust you if you don't follow through. Salespeople, if you're not following through on your promises, prospects and customers like you, but they will not buy from you. Sales managers, your team may love you, but if you're not reliable, they don't trust you to help them become better as a sales professional. Now let's take a look at you for understanding. And this is basically really taking the time to apply empathy and demonstrate the fact that you know and understand the day in the life of a prospect, customer, or your salesperson, because a basic human need is this, the need to be understood. And when you understand me, you get me, I trust you. Now let's take a look at the word stable. I could talk for days on this one because if you're not stable, you're not able to build trust. You might be a moody person. Every time someone gives you feedback, you get emotionally triggered. Uh, sales managers, you might be a person that your salespeople are wondering, is he in a good mood today? Is this the right day to approach her? And if you're somebody that's not real stable, well, people quit coming to you with problems. They quit coming to you seeking advice. For salespeople, you don't get feedback, so you don't improve. So if you're not stable, you're probably not able to build trust and improve your own selling skills and relationships. And finally, I have found that trustworthy people are tuned in, and they're very tuned in to recognizing Am I falling short on time, reliability, understanding others, and being stable? Trust. It is a huge factor in building sales, relationships, and business. Make sure you're demonstrating the behaviors that build trust every day.